morning, I hope you're well. Today we're going to be looking at Acts 14 and I hope you've read it. Um, it's the continuation of Barnabas and Paul's first missionary journey. So it starts in chapter 13 and it continues in 14. Apparently, according to records, this journey took about three years. And as we read at the end of chapter 14, they testified about everything that happened to the rest of the Christians when they returned. Which is amazing. But something else that stood out for me is how God put Barnabas and Paul together right after Paul's conversion. If you remember correctly, um, Paul, after his conversion, seeked out to join the disciples. Acts 9, Barnabas led him to the disciples, although they, they couldn't believe that he had converted. In Acts 11 and 12, we see how Barnabas and Paul did other things together. So, to me, it speaks of God's providence and how He also wants us to connect to one another. He wants us to, to not only serve Him as individuals, but He helps us to serve Him together. Uh, it's really a pleasure to serve God with you. It's really a pleasure to, to not be alone in, in, in this fight and in this, in this time. I believe that God really knows what's, what's going on, obviously, and, and he, he knows what's going on in our hearts. And I, I just want to remind you to trust God and to allow Him to work in your heart to work through your convictions and, and see what he wants to do through you. In this chapter, we once again read how the small steps of obedience where, where Barnabas and Paul goes to preach, the signs follow them. And it's actually a, a promise that Jesus spoke of. He said in Mark 16, from verse 17 to 20, that these signs will accompany those who believe in my name they will cast out demons, they will speak in new tongues, they will pick up serpents with their hands, and if they drink any deadly poison, it will not hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick, and they will recover. Even where Paul was resurrected from the dead after being stoned. These are, th are things that, that God wants for us. Although God also convicted me and, and, and reminded me, and he said that, that in Acts 1, he promised that the Holy Spirit would come upon us and he would give us power to be witnesses. Although, if we are not being witnesses, why do we need the power? So just think about how the privilege and the purpose, as we've been talking about the past few days, how it works together. The privilege of of the Holy Spirit and His power to fulfill a purpose of reaching out, of witnessing to, to, to your neighbors, to um, the rest of the country, to the ends of the earth. The purpose of the Holy Spirit was for us to be effective witnesses. It's very plain. And if we are not being witnesses, then once again, why do we need the power? Why would, why would these signs follow if we do not believe? Because if we are not witnessing, do we really believe? And I know it's, it's quite a strong word, um, but I trust that, that you will be encouraged by the privilege that we have in the Holy Spirit, the promise that God gave this gift, this Holy Spirit. That Holy Spirit will, will truly be your comforter in, in any circumstances where you are where you are uncomfortable. And as we read Paul and Barnabas, they are being called gods, embodied gods. It's something that they had to fight and and brought up almost brought upon themselves, not brought upon themselves, but but these people called them the gods because of the signs that they saw. So even when we perform signs in the name of God, 
it will not necessarily mean that people convert but I want to encourage you that our theology is based on the Word of God it is not based on our experience our experience is only there to confirm what we believe and what is based on the Word of God and according to that we live to the glory of God and we live out the purpose that he has set for our lives and if we are called to enjoy God and to proclaim his name how much better doing it together so for today I just want to pray and I want us to continue praying through the day for each other but not not for each other as in as in strength and 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 provision but but for our friendships think of the friendships that you have built in this congregation in your local congregation wherever you are if you have dear friends which i believe you do let's pray for each other and thank god for our friendships and may he strengthen our relationships may he strengthen our friendships that we have built and will still build in this congregation because I believe that God wants to use us as a unit to reach people in this city to proclaim his name and glorify him so God I thank you for your goodness I thank you for your love we give you all the glory and and the honor and I pray Lord that you will strengthen our friendships the friendships that each one of us have um, the friendships between siblings the friendships between husbands and wives Lord may we truly glorify you amongst each other and in this town in Jesus name Amen I hope you have a great day further and may God just continue to bless you in Jesus name